What's up YouTube? This is Will and this is another Will You League video. Today I will be explaining to you guys what peeling is. This is a very important term in League of Legends and I would just like to note beforehand uh, before we start that if you like these videos please hit the subscribe button if you haven't to see more in the future and also the gameplay you are being shown has nothing to do with the audio and it's something just to entertain you while you listen to what's important which is what I'm about to explain. So without further ado, peeling. In League of Legends peeling is really important and it is something that is vital for any support if you want to play anywhere in the high elo ratings. So for those of you who want a quick definition of peeling, essentially essentially what you're doing is protecting the AD carry at all costs. Now why is this important and why does it matter? Well, in a lot of ELO games ranging from 0 ELO all the way up to even the Platinum level, you will see inexperienced supports who, when it comes to team fighting, will immediately jump on, say, an enemy AD carry or enemy AP carry if they get the chance. Especially if they're playing a champion such as Leona or Alistar with a lot of CC, or even Taric. They think that stunning such a vital enemy is very important, and true, it oftentimes is. But many of the times, it is often better to save all your CC for peeling. The reason why this is the case is because oftentimes it is much more important and a higher chance of you f to win the game if you simply sit there and peel for your AD carry or oftentimes your AP carry rather than initiate the fight as a sort of CC assassin. And oftentimes when you choose to peel and when you choose to go to their center of the team and initiate CC on their AP carries or AD carries, let's just call it assassinating for now. Well, it is a matter of situation. Yes, it is very situational. But to put it simply, whether you choose to use your CC to help quote unquote assassinate their AD carry or AB, AP carry, or whether you choose that CC to simply peel for your AD carry is based on a lot of factors but let's break it down to the general things you should look out for. If your team is exceptionally fed and slash or equally fed or at a sort of stalemate with the opposing team then it is oftentimes better to use your CC especially if you are a massive CC support such as Nautilus or Leona to CC down their AD carry or AP carry. This is because the rest of your allies are fed enough to care for themselves and help peel for your own AD carry. Also, by CCing down their vital characters or champions, you allow your allies who are fed enough to follow through and therefore finish off and kill their AD carry or AP carry, which is oftentimes their main damage dealer, thus winning you the team fight because all that leaves is their tanks to deal with who deal very little damage. And therefore, if you can finish off their vital damage dealers immediately before they can do any damage, you automatically win the team fight. Now when is it better to peel for your AD carry or AP carry rather than continue and try and assassinate their AD carry and AP carry? And let me just note once again 
that when I say assassinate, I simply mean use your support skills to maybe CC them down so that your allies can follow up. Well, oftentimes it's much better to just peel for your carry and one vital thing to look out for is if your allies cannot follow through and follow up or if your allies are not the optimal assassin role. Assassin allies you want to look out for are people such as Irelia, Akali, or Talon, who can oftentimes follow up and complete the assassination on the enemy AD carry or AP carry. Simply put, after you lay down your CC with say your Leona alt, they can follow through and burst the CC AD carry or AP carry from 100 HP to 0 almost guaranteed and all they're looking for is for you to CC them down so that they can get in there without any hassle. So to put it simply if your allies are one not fed enough to follow through or two are not standard assassin roles such as Akali or Talon and say a much more tanky type of allies such as Darius or maybe even Maokai then you are often better just to sit there and peel for your AD carry. Now why is this the case? Well there are many reasons but first off if you do CC them down say with Leona or Ali Star and they cannot follow through then you have wasted your CC often time by just stunning them sh shortly with CC and therefore they can the opposing team can oftentimes just prevent you from or your allies from finishing off your AD carries or AP carries and they can often use spell vamp or life steal to either get back to a hundred percent HP or maybe just kill you off and without that CC since you've used it your AD carry is oftentimes much more likely to be assassinated another reason is that oftentimes especially in higher elo teams will oftentimes bait CC or bait ultimates to be used and then they will back off quickly heal by life stealing off of minions nearby and then reinitiate and you will oftentimes be down. This oftentimes is the case because it proves vital and much more beneficial if they can burn your CC and then reinitiate later on with full HP because now you have less CC to be used for escapes or peeling. Now this is oftentimes not the case in which case for example, there is a Baron fight and the fight is either forced so that both teams must either go all in or lose the Baron buff. If this is the case and you mistakenly use all your CC to assassinate when none of your teammates are fed enough or capable of following through with your CC then what ends up happening is that oftentimes you may be able to burst you, the enemy AD carry or AP carry down to fairly low health but they end up surviving using life steal or spell vamp or maybe their support heals to get back to a formidable health margin maybe 50% or 60% and then continue to kill you and like I said before, you've used all your CC and your AD carry is in a much more dangerous situation. So just to follow through with the final things to look out for and situations where you should choose to peel for your AD carry or sometimes your AP carry rather than use your CC to lock down your enemies. A sign to look for is what kind of AD carry or AV carry you have. 
if you have someone who you have to protect such as Ash who has very little escapes then you should probably peel the reason why Ash is a good example is all she has for an escape especially versus a gap closing enemy such as Akali is her stun her slow and her ultimate now this may seem like a lot but oftentimes with flash cooldown being so long oftentimes it is almost a four minute wait it is oftentimes not always up during team fights which leaves her with her arrow which many times are already used to initiate team fights that leaves her with her slow which is not enough to escape it is only a small percentage slow and with gap closes like a Kali who can just keep jumping to you and who especially in high elo knows how to focus your main damage dealer may just as well be destroyed immediately and oftentimes especially versus semi-fed to fed assassins such as Akali or Poppy even if your AD carry is fed you stand no chance because they deal more damage in a much shorter amount of time in these situations it is just much better to peel now I will go over exactly how to peel the concept is actually very simple and all you really have to do is save your CC for the opportune moment. If you are Leona or Alistar, you should almost always peel if you know that your AD carry is the only fed one on your team. This is because in order for her to carry, she must not be focused and not, must not be assassinated. To peel, you simply wait until the team fight starts and the opposing enemy assassin or maybe a, just a standard AP carry or AD carry or sometimes even a tank somehow gets close to your AD carry which often happens when your AD carry is not the most skilled. As soon as they get onto your AD carry or even get close especially for instance if they get hooked say by a Darius hook and you know as soon as after they land the hook the damage will occur and your AD carry may only have moments to live that is the exact time where you lay down just one of your CC moves if you are say Leona you want to use just your Q and not the rest of your CC or say if you are Ali Star, you want to use just your headbutt and not your knockup. The reason is because most times in team fights, you will have a lot of volatile factors to deal with and a lot more chances and abilities that might just put your AD carry in danger. A, a good example of this would be say if you use your headbutt to knock away the Darius who for some reason flashed and landed his hook on your important Ash. By using just your headbutt to knock him away, you save your knockup for another enemy, say a Kali or Talon, who just might all of a sudden appear and try and assassinate Ash. Now what you can do is you can use another one of your CC to combat this second foe. Oftentimes, you may find yourself having to use more than one CC if you do have it in order to keep your AD carry safe. And this is oftentimes the better thing to do to ensure that your AD carry is safe if you're not entirely too sure. Once you get to a higher level, you will be able to know for certain the extent of your CC and whether by using just one of your abilities, if it will be enough to peel for your AD carry. 
By doing this, you will save all your abilities sparingly and use them to the maximum amount of its potential. Now, why is peeling so important? This is a very important point because some of you st might still be wondering why can't I just do what I want during team fights as a support? Well, this little differentiation between peeling and just randomly throwing out your spells during a team fight can prove very vital as a support. By simply preventing a Darius from dealing maybe even just as little as 200 to 500 damage on your AD carry is exceptionally important. Why is this the case? Well, by doing so, you have prevented almost up to 25 to 50% of their HP from being wiped out. Most AD carries have roughly around 2000 HP. And because of this, any small chunk is actually a large chunk and a large percentage of their HP. By peeling from that and preventing any damage, you will in effect save the AD carry. Oftentimes AD carries will most likely back out of a fight at 500 HP or lower because they know at that point any large cast or abilities will completely wipe them out. And oftentimes, even sometimes the tank will have enough just from their base damage in ultimates or abilities to finish them off. Also, you have to take into account certain AoEs can just as well cleave off another 25 to 50% of their HP. A good example would be Graves' ultimate. He does not have to be anywhere close to the opposing AD carry for it to land properly if he aims right. With good positioning, he can land it, and that ultimate may as well cleave off 30 to 40 percent of your AD carry's HP. And oftentimes, with such burst, you may your AD carry just may not be able to life steal the rest of the HP back in time. By staying there with your AD carry and pretty much babysitting them during team fights, you are able to possibly even save them with your CC up to 50% or more of their HP. This will in fact help them tremendously, especially if they're the only ones fed, in finishing off the opposing foes and winning the game. Oftentimes, when your AD carry is the only one fed, she is the only one capable of ending the game. And because of that, especially in high elo when people know how to focus, they will choose to focus her because they know she is the only real threat. That's why it's much more vital to just stick around and peel for your AD carry. One final point I do have to make is there is a huge difference between peeling and just throwing out your spells. As a Leona player, I do often find myself wanting to just throw out my ultimate towards their AD carry or AP carry. However, when I restrain myself and sit there and peel, I find it is much more useful and much more vital to just sit there and wait for certain assassins to come to your AD carry because in high elo they will oftentimes come. By just saving these CCs for the vital time and blocking and peeling for your AD carry you oftentimes end up winning the fight because they, your AD carry, will oftentimes with your help of peeling be able to be completely free from any type of interactions 1v1 and will pretty much sit in the back the entire fight and deal damage until everyone is dead. This oftentimes wins you the team fight 
And though oftentimes the AD carry will be congratulated instead of you, you must know in your heart that you were the one who won the game. These simple differences in support is what separates the professional supports from the decent supports, from the mediocre supports to the noob supports. There are a lot of other minor factors in supporting and other things that I will get into in other videos that all play little roles in helping you win games. And all of these things together will make you a great support rather than just a good support. I hope you liked this video and I will leave you with a final analogy between supporting, appealing, and sports. For those of who, you who live in North America or know what American football is, it is a great analogy to peeling. Oftentimes, the quarterback or the person who catches the football will have to run towards the end of the field to get a touchdown. Because he has the football, all of the opposing enemy football players will be focused on tackling him just by the nature of there being one single football and the nature of the game itself. Therefore, it is the most vital thing to, for you to do to prevent anyone from coming into contact with your ally with the football rather than just running out on your own and tackling a random enemy football player. Therefore, if you've seen football, or if you haven't, you can look up a clip right now. It'll be easy to find. Many football players will choose to follow their ally football player with the football and peel for them which simply means they will tackle anyone who gets even close to their ally with the football. By doing so, they will oftentimes go down first with the tackler. If it has to happen, it will, but they will try for it not to happen. They will try to stay with their ally with the football as long as possible while taking out enemies. But if need be, they will go down with the enemy and tackle them in order to provide the clearest path the clearest path possible for their ally with the football so they can get to the touchdown. This is a great analogy to peeling because that's pretty much your job as support at times. You want to clear a path along with your tanks so that your ally is free of any 1v1 or 1v2 interactions from enemies at all times so she can sit in the back and deal as much damage as possible without being interrupted even if it means that you go down before him or her. I hope you liked this video and I hope it's explained appealing for supports quite well. If you like this video, please leave it a like, upvote it, and subscribe if you like this video. It helps me out a lot. And sorry for the pauses and monotone voice. I wanted to keep this as informative as possible and as clear as possible. Thanks and see you guys later.